Look at this tweet some lady posted some time ago on her Twitter account. She says basically that if you lead a woman on to get the privilege of sleeping with her, that you should be guilty of sexual assault. Okay, like, I heard what she said and I, I was kind of like, hmm. I don't know about it, so I posted it on my own. Um, Facebook page just to see what other people had to say about it and I wasn't alone with the current thoughts that I'm about to share right now I don't like the culture of men or women lying about their intent and then leading someone on to take advantage of and get what they want and then dump the person that they with and to people who play with other people's emotions like that you will reap what you sow however come on now man I think it's bogus to label sexual assault charges onto someone that you freaking consented to be with. Grow the heck up and take responsibility for your own in heat actions. And I gotta be honest here, I'm out here in the world around a lot of these girls today, whether in the workplace or just living near them. And I see lots of girls out here with multiple baby daddies, bisexual relationships and other sexual dysfunction going on while blaming men for everything wrong in their lives. And yeah, these whoremonger dudes out here, they are musty and dusty. I know a lot of those too. They out here on Tinder, hooking up with anything they gotta post. But that still doesn't excuse your grown butt out here making bad decisions. At work today, I witnessed a chubby young black lady throwing her behind in a circle right next to some old white man while saying, hey, hey, hey. And it's like, what the crap? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what, what you doing? Then about two weeks ago, I was getting off work. And right by my car, there was another car with a girl that worked on my assembly line. And she had her behind sticking out the freaking car with some loud ghetto music, also throwing her behind in a circle as well for the whole world to see. You know, everybody out old white men old white women latinos hispanics and older respectable people walking out there and you got some girl out there just throwing her behind in a circle i just scooted on past her like man what the heck going on and then got in my car just pulled the heck off it's like honestly i don't think anybody would be roasting the woman who made this post on the screen here for what she said if it wasn't self-servingly absolving her own self of all accountability towards her own actions of choosing not to use discernment and then choosing to be an easy one just opening her legs just because i mean honestly it's an insult to real survivors of sexual assault because those women truly had no choice you did and you chose to let this man have access to your most sacred intimate parts without proving him first. That's why when I saw this post, I, I kind of had a little bit of a good laugh because it reeks of not being a mature adult ready to accept responsibility of their own actions. And ultimately, that was a red flag to my eyes. This is exactly why I'm a strong advocate of not giving these thoughts the time of day. I won't even glance in your direction because every time you lay down with somebody you're not married to, you open the door for sexual assault allegations. People gonna live their lives how they want to. But I'm just saying, if you would stop laying with everybody, get on your manly purpose and then get married, all this Me Too era crap would disappear. Never give a wicked woman an advantage over you. Stop being a wicked man. Now they saying that consensual sexual relationships are sexual assault, even though she was equally biting her lip and giving you bedroom eyes. That's more the reason to stop messing around with women you see no future with. Because when the relationship ends, they're going to be embittered with you. 